Hey there, everyone. I'm uh, Nicholas, uh, co-founder and CEO of Delivery Hero. Let's see if I get the presentation up there. Let's go back. Um, it's an online food ordering platform. I think most of you know what an online food platform is, and I, I hope that most of you know about Delivery Hero. But what I will talk about today is a bit more uh, how we think we are going to transform the industry. And I'm, I'm not only speaking about the takeaway online food ordering industry, but the whole food consumption space. Um, but before doing so, I'll go quickly through what we do today and what we add in the value of the chain. So here you have online food ordering done in the past versus today. So in the past, you went to your, your mailbox or to your drawer, you picked up a, a bunch of menus, you, you picked one of them, and then you, you called the restaurant and you ordered. This is, in our opinion, a, a, a very intransparent process. You have a very small selection of, of menus. You have old, outdated pricings. You have no review system, etc. So what we bring is to put them all online. We have peer-to-peer -peer reviews. You have online payments. You have ranking algorithms to making sure that you choose the right restaurants. Uh, so this is what we solve for the users. And this is just the start of our innovation to, to build an awesome food ordering platform for you. From a restaurant point of view, so what the, the problem we solve there is the whole marketing and, and advertisement space. So if you look at restaurant marketing in the past, it, I don't know, you, you gave out all the flyers, sometimes in a funny costume, sometimes in different ways, but it's just a, a very inefficient way of doing advertisement. I think most of you know that but it's still an industry which is lagging behind, and they're still doing it. So every year, there are more than billion or billions of flyers given out in the world. And this is a problem that we solve, that we help the restaurant to be seen at a time when you are hungry and when you're looking for food, uh, rather than uh, being very untargeted on it. So we provide the restaurant with more than six million users on our platform that can order from their restaurant. So we help them with the advertisement space in a more effective and efficient way. On top of that, you have the whole transmission that you do on the phone. So you think, well, a call doesn't cost a lot. Uh, well, it costs your time, and it also costs the restaurant time. So if we do proper at scale phone transmission orders, it costs roughly a euro. Uh, and then we have scale and, and to deliver an order. So you just imagine a restaurant who doesn't have scale. They need to have employed people just to answer phone calls and I'm sure every order will cost them two, three euros. So we also solve the whole inefficiency of phone transmission, what is currently done today. So, so we solve the intransparency part, we solve the inefficiency part, and we help to bring better food by, um, by adding that to the industry. This is roughly how it works. So you come to the website, you locate where you are, you uh, you, you get a, a list of restaurants, so often in an area like this you would have 100, 200, maybe 300 restaurants around you that you can choose for. Uh, we use different algorithms to make sure that you, you choose the right one. Um, so the one with the best quality, the one with the high reorder rate, and a multiple other algorithms. You then click what you want to order. You, the order is sent to the restaurant through an undeveloped terminal. We also have iPads and other solutions, but this is the most effective one we have, which will be a printed receipt, which is then uh, going through the chain to the, to the chef and to the driver. He delivers the food, so it's usually not us, and you have your food. And roughly, it's a process of 30, 40 minutes, depending on the restaurant. This is what our users say about us and our service. So I uh, pick one or two. Thank God this app exists. Perfect, best app ever, right after WhatsApp and Facebook. Uh, in the future, hopefully, we get above that uh, WhatsApp and Facebook. But let's see. This is what it translates into, into revenue. So this is our net revenue. Um, we do, uh, yeah, by, by now, we do far more than the, the 300 million euro. Uh, we do roughly 50 million net revenue. Uh, on a run rate basis. We have more than 50,000 restaurants, which makes us the world leading platform in the space of online food ordering. We also are the one having the biggest reach. So we think the market is around 75 billion. Others say it's larger, but we think it's around 75 billion. Uh, out of that, we are covering 40 billions in the market that we're active, of which we are leader in the most of them. 
So we are very well positioned for being the global leader in the space, and that's what we're aiming for. But that's not the only thing we're aiming for. So we see this as a very early beginning of uh, a transition, a change in uh, the way we consume food. So you see in the past, you have three meals cooked. Um, usually you, you, and you have that routine. Today you have a different lifestyle. You have uh, more obligations. You work harder. You, you uh, have weddings, family, and so on. So we start ordering more and more or try to find efficiency in that and actually have other people cooking for us, having experts cooking for us and delivering to us. So we see people in that segment start to order two, three times a week. This, I think, is also just a start, and that's why we've seen also in the industry just the last, I don't know, 10 years, how people go from just being pizza to now also you can find food like sushi, Thai, Indian, and not only in New York and London, but you can actually have that food even in smaller cities. And I think that drives the possibility to order good food. But this is just a start, in our opinion. We think that we can solve uh, and make it so convenient and so good that in 30 years from now, you might not even have a kitchen. I know you now think I'm a bit crazy, uh, but in my belief, uh, I think it's even crazier that I don't even like cook and then I spend the most precious thing there is, except my own family, uh, which is time. So I spend my time on going to the grocery shop, do the shopping, carrying it home, and then cook. And I'm not even a good chef, so it doesn't even taste that good. And, and I believe there are more efficient ways of doing this. I don't know, there are experts cooking food, and uh, this can be leveraged. So if we can provide a service that is so easy for you to order, and that we can have the convenience and possibility to deliver that faster than we do today. Uh, and that is something that we are very confident that we will solve by route tracking. We see the industry develop in that sense. So we think that we can solve the whole logistics part in a better way. And we think that we can drive the quality of the food to the degree that you would rather leverage an expert cooking than doing it yourself. It's cheaper, it's faster, and it probably tastes better. So that's also what we drive our vision on, and that's where we drive not only to, to become the leader in the space, but also to make uh, uh, the service better for you. Last but not least, I I'll, thought I'll, I'll end with some questions and, and also blow up some rumors uh, often in the space. So the first one, ordering line doesn't work. So we have more than 6 million users on the platform. It's growing very fast. Used to not come back. Well, 80% do come back. They overspend on marketing. Delivery overspend on marketing. We are profitable on our second order. And this is, goes for emerging market. This goes for developed markets. And as far as I've seen, I haven't seen anyone optimize their metrics to the degree that they're making profit on their second order. They burn a lot of money. We are break even in December. UK and Germany, too competitive. The fact is that we grow very fast and we are now profitable in both markets. Prove, uh, prove that it's not. Growth is because of acquisitions. And here it's actually 75% of the business has built, built organically. So it's not from the acquisitions. They're buying Food Panda. No. They are working on an IPO. And that is also not true. We are not going to IPO in 2014. Our clear focus is on building on our mission and building a perfect product. And anything on exit IPOs is not in our idea. We are not going to IPO in 2014. We focus on the business. Thank you very much. I know how precious your time is. Thank you.